Hi guys and welcome to this short tutorial on how to use the New World Minimap. Uh, I'm the developer and I'd like to just showcase um, what I've made and hopefully you guys can enjoy it. I made a small overlay application that runs as a separate um, app uh, that has a transparent background and shows a small minimap for you in, in the game. Uh, as you can see here. Uh, there's some few features and settings with the map and it all starts off with uh, settings that you can uh, configure. The application use, uses a small screen capture of the position data that can be found in the top uh, right hand corner of the screen. To get this position data, all you need to do is go into the settings menu, visuals, and scroll down to the bottom to find uh, show FPS. As soon as that value is on, you'll see the position data. Once you have the position data available, you can open up the menu and just confirm that the position is being captured. Uh, some of you might use screens with a higher or lower resolution, so just use these arrows to click and drag until the values are positioned uh, correctly. Use the preview window to see if it's capturing at least some data. Then um, you can also click and drag the minimap to move it to your desired location and scale it to be either smaller or larger. Uh, depending on your preference. Uh, sometimes you need to fine-tune the position value a little bit so you can also just type that in. Um, I've added an additional feature called Enable Alt Lock and I'll explain how that works um, in a few seconds. You'll also see that there's a small button in the lower left corner which is a quick uh, show and hide option to show or hide the minimap, uh, depending if you wanted to, want to use it now or if you're in a dungeon, for instance, and do not need it at the moment. I'll just save the settings as is and um, go back to, to the game. As you can see, the values are persisted and as I move again, it's being picked up. Like I mentioned, the um, show hide button here, if you normally click on it, it either shows or hides the minimap. Um, the map has multiple filters for resources um, and uh, as well as a zoom in and zoom out. So as you can see, it's using the data that uh, comes from the New World Fans New World Map website and you can easily access that website by clicking on uh, this icon. It opened up in a second screen. Nice. Uh, please use this map to, for instance, plot your resource paths or routes that you want to use, and then just use the minimap to uh, pinpoint the things near your location. As I mentioned, it's an overlay, so you'll see it even running over the, the browser. Uh, when back in the game, Again, there's multiple filters that you can e enable or disable. I've added the primary five uh, filter types, either showing you the locations of named um, monsters or beasts that you can hunt, uh, or uh, ore nodes, including iron, steel, um, star metal, silver, gold, and so forth. Any plant life uh, is also grouped into one specific se section uh, essence used for jewel crafting and then uh, chests as well as the um, battle notes or documents that you can find. So using this you are able to select which resource you're currently uh, looking for. Yeah, like I mentioned the uh, app is, is an overlay and you can, uh, for instance, sometimes accidentally maybe click on the buttons as your mouse is still active in the background. So I've added the feature where you can hold the left alt key, click on the lock, and this would prevent you from selecting any 
any of or accidentally clicking on any of the the icons for instance you can unlock it again holding alt clicking on the show hide button and re-enable the filters uh, yeah I think the important part is maybe just getting the positioning data configured correctly please also remember that this is um, an overlay application doing character recognitioning on an image and uh, luckily for me at the moment it's quite dark so the contrast between the background and the actual values are quite good and the update on the minimap is quite smooth if you find yourself in an area like uh, everfall which is a quite an autumnish color or even in the north uh, in the snow the positioning might be a little bit off and you might not always get your correct positioning values uh, this is the best effort part and I am um, continuously trying to improve and um, get feedback from from the community also uh, yeah I will leave some links in the description below to a discord channel if you're interested in joining and also um, giving your feedback and suggestions thanks and uh, happy gaming <laughs>